is Antoine Falouza. I'm a designer based in Paris. I train in the UK and I've been uh, I've set up in Paris in 2003. Um, my approach is very is rooted in uh, in my childhood basically. Uh, like many, I've always uh, been very interested in how and why we do things. Uh, we make them and um, it's, it's been uh, it's something that I try to convey in my design approach um, just as a kid um, would uh, understand um, his environment in uh, through uh, interaction games um, I think this approach uh, should be used for by the consumers that we are uh, in order to make better choices I guess This quake shelf, it's called quake because it's it's a bit like an earthquake. It it, it looks uh, shaky. It looks like something went wrong and uh, and it's it's about to fall off. Except it's not. Uh, it's really quite simple. A lot of uh, a lot of the, the problems we face as designers is uh, cost, um, from the time of manufacturing to the time of of uh, selling in a shop. Um, there's uh, a lot of increase in the middleman and distribution and all the costs add up and it, it ends up being quite um, dear and not a lot of the time not too affordable what we do. Um, so my approach there was really to try to keep to a minimum everything that was investment, uh, material, tooling um, and really use very simple process in this instance it's, it's wire bending um, and welding, which is um, fairly common and uh, quite affordable. And using this uh, technique, only add the support, which is wooden planks. So it's wooden plank and steel wire. And the, uh, the idea was to also to, to in, the, in my intent of keeping the cost as, as low as possible, um, all the structure fit into each other so you only get uh, one carton with four structures uh, which you take out and you just lay them on top of this of, uh, of the boards and then you have a, a complete shelf. Um, what I was saying before with the communicating the design process is that while you assemble the shelf where you put it together you can't help but understand how it's been conceived um, and and by doing so, you you take in a little bit of knowledge that you expect a little bit more of the objects that you you you, you buy. I hope, uh, and that's the idea. There's this tool. It's uh, it's a cork tool. It's it's a mix between um, a the the tools that traditionally we use to milk cows, where you have a belt and just one one leg. Uh, and you could move from one cow to the next, and the uh, the and the, the the little toy that we've all played with, which is the cubito, we call it in French, um, and it's a mix between the two. The idea was to once again create this unexpected to the object, unexpected this to to um, uh, rock the expectations that people have with objects. Obviously, this is a seat. It's only got one leg. How does it? How, do, how can it just stand on itself? Uh, all those questions you, you can't help. But with the material and with the shape and the nature of the, the object, you can't. You should be. You should want to come and, and interact with it, play with it, and and understand how it works. Consumers is the made in China. Uh, costs and that's very hard for us Europeans uh, and especially as designers to compete with. We have to, to invest even more in, into the, the design process, the thought process, our work uh, that we do before the, actual, the, the object exists and it's produced and so all our work has actually, I think it has been very much stimulated by this cost issue uh, brought about by the, the uh, the the China uh, the, the 
China's uh, very cheap cost in manufacturing. Uh, and that's been, I think, a, a very uh, positive, that's been the positive aspect of, of the uh, overwhelming grasp that China has on manufacturing in the world today. Um, so it, it's made us work harder, that's a good thing. Because uh, then we produce better things, we have better ideas and so on. Probably be making making things one way or another. I'd be maybe an artisan or uh, a potter or uh, a woodworker. Or um, I, I very much enjoy the uh, tinkering and playing with things to to get to result. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I could have uh, been a computer coder or if I had the, the, the expertise or. Uh, I, I probably would have been making something.